Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lecture. And today is Wednesday, and we have kind of a short lesson that's assigned for the morning meditations, uh, and that is from St. Peter's, the second lesson for evening prayer from the first epistle general of St. Peter, the fourth chapter beginning at the seventh verse. But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so just in, in these, you know, four short, five short verses of Scripture, we have kind of how do we live as the church, right? Real, and again, St. Peter's epistle is such kind of common sense, boom, 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 instruction, right? Uh, so, you know, the end's coming. And we, and we know that the a church has always told us to be ready because Jesus could be back any moment. And I think the first generation of the church was especially focused on that, which is part of why we didn't get the Gospels written until several years after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, because they thought he'd be back so quickly that there wasn't going to be time to publish a gospel. Uh, but these letters are being passed around, then the gospels are, account, are, are written down uh, and passed around, right? So, but, so the fact is, it, it's, it's, a, it's at hand, right? And, and in fact, the day of the Lord could be today or tomorrow. Who knows, right? So if that's true, then we have to be sober and watch under prayer. Always good things to be sober, sober-minded, sober in heart and desire, uh, and, and watch unto prayer. In other words, be preparing yourself through the life of prayer for the coming of Jesus. Uh, and then he says, but you know, above all things, have fervent charity, right? Which is love. We have to love one another as he has loved us. And, and it says the charity will cover the multitude of sins. In other words, where we fail, we if we love more, right? Ask God for forgiveness for our sins, but where we are not living up, we ask God to help us to love more, and that will help to cover uh, our failings. A hospitality without grudging, right? We love one another, we care for one another, we do so without counting, keeping cost, or grudging with each other. Uh, and then, of course, then he says, look, remember the gifts are gifts that are be held in common, right? As God has given you gifts, and we talk about this when we talk about the novena of the Holy Spirit, that God the Holy Spirit gives gifts to the church uh, and to individuals in the church, not for the building up of the person necessarily, although the person will certainly, if they're cooperating with God's grace, will be, will be built up. Uh, but he gives those gifts as he sees fit for the sake of the church. So, so and Peter carries on with that exact uh, theme. He says, you know, if you've received a gift from God like by the grace of the Holy Spirit, then you use that gift for others. It's not for you. It's for you to minister to others for it, because that's what God, we're the stewards of the manifold grace of God, right? In other words, we're, it's been entrusted to us to share with others. Uh, and then he says, you know, they go on to speak the oracles of God. If you're a minister, do it to the greater glory of God. Uh, all things that we do as members of the body of Christ are to glorify Jesus Christ and his church. Okay, so and I just, again, just a five short verses, but boom, here's how we live as members of the body of Christ and as the church as a corporate entity. Uh, today is Wednesday, so we have 1215 Holy Communion and 4 p.m. evening prayer. Uh, so I do hope that you can join us. Uh, if not in person, then you can join us on the live stream on these channels where you're watching this morning meditation. And may God grant you a Wednesday that is full of blessings.